So, your twin flame, so-called divine masculine, what are they going through? What do they experience? Because let's face it, you're in a bad way. You're in a desperate way. You're overcome with this deep sense of meaninglessness. You've got this obsessive thinking going on. You are miserable and you can barely function. Or that was going on and you're starting to feel a little bit better and you're left feeling like, well, I mean, am I the only one here? Like, don't they have to experience some of this? Or it just doesn't really seem fair that you're the one that has to go through all this suffering and really your twin flame, they don't seem to be given a fuck at all. What's up with that? Is that true? Do they care at all? Are they suffering at all? Is that what's going on? What is going on with them? Are they thinking of me? All of these questions about your twin flame. We're going to talk about that in today's video. What is your twin flame's experience? If you're new here, welcome, welcome, everyone. My name is Kurt. I'm the world's number one twin flame coach. I've personally coached over 7,000 twin flames to date. My science-based approach will bring a lot of clarity to you, my friends. And that's basically how I'm going to explain this to you today. What is your twin flame really going through and how can we tell? Okay, so, Real simple, guys. I've coached so many people. You can talk to other people in chat rooms, uh, in the comments section of any YouTube video, and you're going to get a lot of different answers. And I think that's why you may be confused because you're getting the sense that you're getting a lot of different answers. Well, because my twin flame is going through these things, and then all these other people, well, depending on who you talk to, a couple of them are saying that their twin flame, so-called divine masculine, is going through something similar, and then a whole bunch of other people are saying something completely different. So there doesn't seem to be anything consistent here, right? That's the confusing part about this. Some people's twin flame, they go through these things. Other people's twin flames, they go through these things. So you guys, when it comes to this question of what they go through, seeing is believing. The confusion is that there's also this other kind of narrative on the internet that's telling you that twin flames are going to go through all these stages, you're going to awaken, and then your twin flame is going to awaken, and then you're going to come together in union, and you're going to heal everybody in a thousand mile radius with your healing energy, and you're going to go on a mission, and a blah 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 And I already made a video about that called Twin Flame Myths, if you'd like to check it out. Uh, I'll go ahead and link it down below for you. Um, it's um, probably the third or fourth time I've done a Twin Flame Myths video. Also, check out my free resources on this YouTube channel. There's a playlist that I've assembled with all of my greatest hits, Twin Flame coaching videos, just like this one. It's called The True Twin Flame Teachings. Check it out. You'll find that Myths video on there, along with a video talking about the push-pull with your twin flame and why that occurs and what exactly twin flames are. So to answer this question about what does your twin flame go through, again, we've already answered it. Seeing is believing, guys. Your twin flame is going through whatever they're going through. And there's not a consistent answer. And we're going to talk about why that is. Okay. But there is this push pull between you and your twin flame. And the reason that this has occurred is this occurs. The reason that this is going on, it's called the second law of thermodynamics. Okay which is an energy exchange, guys, at the level of the mind where you perceive separation. Separation is a mental perception. It's not a stage. It's not a relationship status with your twin flame. 
That word comes out of the Zen teachings, right? Out of transcendentalism, okay? That's why there's the push-pull between your you and your twin flame. You are polarized at the level of the mind. So when you focus on them, they focus on anything but you. You push, they pull away. That's why all the healing and the violet flame chant and the fixing your inner childhood wounds and clearing your chakras and all this kind of new agey stuff, it, it doesn't seem to be helping, does it? And your twin flame really doesn't want to talk to you now. So what are they going through? They're not even thinking about you. <laughs> Why? Because of this. Guys, your mind is energy, okay? Your twin flame is energy. A, a basically they they are one of your they are one of your past lives so there's less energy there's less energy on the part of your twin flame okay go watch my video called your twin flame is your past life i will link it down below for you this is easy to figure out guys and my theories about twin flames absolutely comply with the laws of physics. That's why they're not giving a shit, guys. The reason for the push-pull, the reason that they don't seem to be caring about you or keeping you at an arm's length or they're distant or cold or whatever, or they're rejecting you, right? It's called the second law of thermodynamics. So no, there's no stages that you're gonna go through. Why? Because it's just one of your past lives, guys. And I can prove it. I can prove it. Again, go watch my video called Your Twin Flame is Your Past Life. I just posted a couple of weeks ago, guys. Your Twin Flame is another incarnation of your soul, guys. Reincarnation is a widely accepted phenomenon. Everybody know, already knows about that. In any one of your past lives that you lived is your soul, right? So just go watch that video. It'll all make sense to you. But that's why... They don't seem to be thinking about you. And no, they're not going to awaken divine masculine. They don't awaken like you do because it's just one of your past lives, guys. And again, I've been doing this for six years. I've personally coached over 7,000 twin flames. That doesn't happen, guys. I've had like one person come along and go, Kurt, oh yeah, well, my twin flame is spiritual and they are awakening. Cool. Well, if that's true for all twin flames, if that is inherent to the twin flame journey, then that's going to happen to every single one of them, and it doesn't. Guys, my twin flame, mine, she goes to a pretty conventional, you know, like Christian church, and that's fine. I don't have any problem with that, but she's not like awakening, oh my God, you know, and all of these spiritual gifts are emerging, and she's experiencing telepathy and all this kind of stuff. No, I am, but you know, I'm 30 lifetimes ahead of her, 20 or 30 lifetimes ahead of her, right? Reincarnation is real, guys. That's all this is. Again, go watch my video called Your Twin Flame is Your Past Life. And I'll break the science down, how I figured this out. It's so obvious. It's so obvious that that's what this is, guys. And if you're new here, you've never seen this diagram before. I just want to point out that these birth years are example birth years. So, so you and your twin flame, you know, you could have been born um, on, this, on the same year or completely different years. It doesn't matter. Those are just examples. But guys, this is the truth of twin flames. Your twin flame is another incarnation of your soul. This is your higher self in heaven. Okay. And then these little red dots represent individual incarnations of your soul. This is you and your other self, your twin flame. I have my paid coaching students call it your other self. But guys, they don't go through what you're going through. Why? Because they're an older incarnation. It's a life that you lived in the first person. You're watching a replay of things that you've done in a past life. And again, guys, seeing is believing. Whatever they're doing is what they're doing. They're not going to awaken, but I'll tell you what. When you transcend the separation of mind and enter the unity of soul, which is where the word union comes from, 
they sure want to be around you a lot. Your twin flame. I've seen it a lot of times with my coaching students, with people on this YouTube channel, just watching the free content. And of course, my twin flame. She can't get enough of me, you guys. It's very, very simple. The thing that's confusing to you about this is the twin flame mythology on the internet, okay? The twin flame lore is telling you that that's a thing. But guys, it doesn't happen. It, 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 it doesn't happen. I've worked with thousands of people, guys, okay? Seeing is believing. What you observe doesn't fit the narrative that you see, you know, all the twin flame myths on the internet, right? But you awaken, and when you do, your twin flame wants to be with you really bad. But they're not going to go through the suffering and the awakening and, you know, all of that kind of stuff like you do. So there you go, guys. I hope this helps. I hope that made sense. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next week. So long.